Hi Church, I'm Cami, and welcome back to day two of our balmy Bible story, Cain and Abel. Yesterday, we looked at the fact that God wants us to do the right thing and to live our lives the right way. That sin is crouching at the door, but that he has given us the power to rule over it. I love the scripture at the beginning of Genesis where Adam and Eve have just eaten from the tree that God told them not to. They are ashamed and they're hiding from God. And a conversation is then had between the three of them. And God asks them, who told you this? The woman then in Genesis 3 responds, the serpent deceived me and I ate. Genesis 3.14 then says, so the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, Cursed are you above all livestock and all wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. You will crush his head. God gave authority to mankind to be above the enemy, to rule over the sin that he constructs. He is the one who seeks to deceive us and to lead us into doing the wrong things, telling us that it's normal and why not when everyone else is doing it. He may snap at our heels, causing pain and frustration and confusion, but God says that we will crush his head. You have authority to raise your foot and crush his head, to say no, to walk away, to know that just because it's normal for others, it's not normal for you and that and that it is not God's standards. The authority that we have comes from God, the maker of heaven and earth, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And church, I hope that encourages you today and I hope that you have a beautiful day. Bye.